So you know that awkward moment when one of your guests before an interview goes, the last time I was here, we kissed on the lips and I forgot. I, it would have been even better if Duncan had just said, last time I saw you, we were kissing on the lips and just watch Fiona spiral down. There's so many boys, obviously, right? That you've kissed on the lips No, before. there's not. Uh, uh -huh. Duncan and Dave join us from The Buried Life. They have a new book out. You guys, this is gonna be massive because you did such a great job on it and such a great concept anyway. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice, Thank how's you. it feeling? This is, was this on your list, a, a published author in New it, York Times? Yeah, it very much was. It was on our very, very first list that we came up with uh, five years ago in a garage in Victoria. Nice. So let's go yeah. back to that uh, garage and to where you guys are now. I mean, you guys are planners. You make lists. Uh, <laughs> what is left? You guys have hung out with Oprah, Obama, you name it. Is there anything left on the list? Well, um, the number 19 is to make the bestsellers list. So we are trying desperately right now to make the New York Times bestsellers list. And uh, we're, we're hoping that this will uh, throw us on there. We really do think this book is the best thing that we've ever come up with. We're really proud of it. And we should probably explain the concept and how, how you guys have put it together because you guys did come up with this list. You have done so many crazy, insane things, but why did you decide this kind of format for the book? Um, you know what? When we started uh, The Buried Life, we are all going through different things in our life. And for, for one reason or another, we came together and we are inspired. And we felt like for in, that, in that moment that we could do anything. We had this kind of clarity where like, we can do anything we want to do. And you know, we wanted to create in this book that same feeling for anybody who reads it, you know? Yeah. You know, try to recreate that feeling. Well, and Dave, part of the magic of what you guys have done is, is every time you're crossing something off your list, you're, and made a pledge, you made a pledge to help other people cross something off their list as well. And, and I think that's where you guys took it to, to sort of a different level. How early in the process did that element come into it, where it was, other people were? Involved? Yeah, it was always part of it, because I think when we were making the first list of, and thinking of everything that we always wanted to do, it was this kind of natural to be like, well, that would be selfish to go out. So is this natural to have that element where we would help someone else, just by asking people on the streets, what do they want to do before they die, and then helping them if we could. Yeah. yeah. Now, so I know was, a lot of guys of who want to go streaking on uh, a stadium field, and we happen to have footage of that particular oh, no. moment. <laughs> Maybe you guys can explain uh, this item on we're your going list. going streaking! And how it felt. Oh, Tell us go. about this one. So this, li this item was to, to pull off the perfect streak, basically. Streak and get away with it. <laughs> and as you'll see in the next uh, 30 seconds here, we Not don't get away with it. <laughs> So, so Dave and I are on the side here, and this is Johnny, and the idea was Johnny, Dave and I were dressed like security. We were gonna jump over and tackle and him yeah. and then take him out dressed as security. But all of these other security came, <laughs> and we got, and I got pegged by these police officers in front of us. Oh, you're and kidding. then I just decided that I wanted to go streaking too. So I just went for it here. <laughs> you guys. And, then, uh, <laughs> and you just and dropped then, oh, oh, yeah. No. Yeah. You know when your pants don't come, oh, yeah. when they don't come completely off, you know you're done for. It was, oh, yeah. That was, uh, I'm very, very There's proud Dave. of uh, Duncan Dave. for that run. Last man in the pool. Yeah, it oh, was. One more. Oh, yeah, that's right. Of four course. of us, yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, the best part now, was our producer was trying to describe this clip, and, and she goes, and it's really funny because they're kind of slippery and nobody can catch them. The, the worst part about that was I got tackled by like eight different people, and I was on the ground, and I swear I looked behind me, and someone was just trying to break my ankle, and I looked behind me, and it wasn't even security or anyone. It was just like guy. an angry father who jumped out of the stands and was like, I'm yeah, an angry father. <laughs> okay, describe the moment after when you've actually done something like that. The frivolous, the silly things like streaking. How does it feel after you've, you've done it and the uh, high fives are going well, around? Well, that wasn't so many high fives because we were actually thrown into a paddy wagon naked. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and the worst part about that also was that we weren't going straight to the prison. We were actually just beginning the rounds around Kansas City, picking up drunk people. Oh, they were getting thrown people. in and like these like these drunk people would get into the back of the paddy wagon and we were there naked and they were like, oh no, like I can't. Do it, and we were I like, didn't wow. sign up for this. I'm just drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do like, it. Like we're freezing. Get in here. Oh. oh, you guys. I mean, there's such a sense of fun of this, but once again, that that. The other side of it is there's such a sense of meaning to this. And when you guys, I mean, Johnny writes in the in the very open uh, about sort of one of the first people that you linked up with to, to help fulfill one of their uh, bucket list things or just help them in their life. And it's mm -hmm. just, that feeling must be unbelievable the first time you have it, the hundredth time you have it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we found, you know, that it's usually the people that we help. The, those are the stories that kind of stick with us. And, yeah. You know, 
we've been, it's been such a privilege to be kind of be a part of some of these stories, you know. Um, one that's really close to us was that we were going through Dallas, Texas, and we met this gentleman who uh, said the one thing he wanted to do before he died more than anything was to reconnect with his son who he hadn't seen in 17 years. He walked out on him when he was two years old, and the only thing he wanted to do was to sit down with him kind of man to man and say, look, this is what, you know, this is what I was going through when I left. You know, this is why I haven't been in your life. And for what it's worth, like, I'm sorry. Yeah, and just face up to wow. it and yeah. get it over with. So the How book, many the tears book itself wow. is such a conversation starter. I mean, just having this around the office since we got it, I mean, people, people pick it up, they it. flip open a page, and it gets people talking about their dreams. Mm. Is that what you guys hope to accomplish with it? That's exactly, like, yeah, that's exactly, exactly it. And we, we just want to ask everyone in the world and to, what they want to do before they die. Yeah. And hopefully it's wear a uh, Canadian tuxedo. Yeah, <laughs> because you know, I'm crossing you know, off. The full I'm crossing off the full today. <laughs> I feel very good about this. <laughs> we need a full body <laughs> shot. This is know the what Canadian, Canadian tuxedo. tuxedo is. My friends, it's denim on <laughs> denim on denim. Well denim done. Denim. Thank you. You should see my jean underwear. I'll show you after the show. <laughs> We're just having yeah, exactly my bucket list. Really you know, good. I was going to ask, one of my questions was going to be, how do you guys sort of keep it real with each other and everything else? And obviously, a, a sense of that is kind of taking the piss and taking the mick out of each other because you guys have a TV show, you've got a book now, you guys have done some incredible things that a lot of people haven't had the opportunity to do in their lives. How do you stay kind of centered, humbled? I will tell you, there is a page in that book where you'll see Johnny and I all bloodied up after we got into a fist fight against each other, fight club style, in a Montreal party. I just read that this morning. Yeah. Yes. What brought this on? Why? I, Wanted to be in a fight. I looked at Johnny one night at the bar and I said, have <laughs> you, you ever guys. been in a fight? And he's like, well, Duncan used to beat me up all the time. I was like, no, have you ever really been in a fight? He's like, no. I was like, we're leaving right now. And we went into a parking lot and for the next 45 minutes, we just beat the crap out of each other. 45 minutes? <laughs> Is it hard to hit a friend? 45 it's for fun. Absolutely not. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Absolutely maybe, not. Not maybe Johnny. The, maybe not first Johnny. punch, right? <laughs> yeah. And then after that, who threw the first punch? It was. Jo it wasn't me. It was my br little brother, who's also in the group. So yeah. it was. It was him and uh, him and Dave. So who do you cheer for? Are you cheering for your little brother? Or you... He goes for the brother. Oh come on. <laughs> Hoping they both lose. Yeah. That <laughs> the what about go. you guys? What about you, Duncan? I mean, what, uh, does anything personally really stick out as, as that thing that you did that, that just kind of blew the doors off um, it for you? Playing basketball with Obama was really cool. Um, Amazing. Huh? Yeah, you know, we didn't think it was going to happen. If you, it, it was featured in one of our episodes, and that episode ends as a failure. Basically, we left it as to be continued, and it was until three months later that we were invited to the White House to, to, as just for a tour, and we got shown the White House courts and stuff, and then Obama walked out and surprised us and. We got to shoot around with him, and, and we got to ask him what he wants to do before he dies. And what does Obama want to do before he, he dies? He said to be a commentator of uh, Sports Center for a day. Really? Yeah. Gee, could he do that? I know. Yeah. We're, just, we're <laughs> trying to make yeah. some calls. But, oh, uh, boy. He's going to try and swing How it. How do you keep your cool when you're playing basketball with Obama? I was just freaking out. There's uh, Secret Service all around, so you just got to be kind of cool. No, oh, I mean, I I he's such a casual it. guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 he's getting the elbows up. Get out of my house. Nice. Uh, you guys, thank you so much. And if you want to go to the book launch, uh, make sure you go meet these fellas. It's tonight. Uh, it's going to be held at Our Lady of Perpetual Help. You can go to the website, kidsbooks.ca. To find out more information because they'll be doing a signing. You can talk to them about your dreams and find out more. I just remembered we started this interview and, and I kind of forgot about it that the last time you guys kissed. So, so now you guys are going to kiss. First I base, I think second base. <laughs> no. I think so too. What I about think so that? Too. Take your shirt I off right now and get over there. You forgot the kiss because I, I was like, do you remember the last time we were on here? Really? I, we kissed. One more time. One more kiss? One more kiss. Come on. Come on. I think it's important. One more kiss. One you more have kiss. to. We're on TV. Uh, kiss on the cheek. All right, here no, we go. No, lips. Oh, I snuck uh, in the lips. I got a snuck on the lips. Got a little Look side lip. lip. <laughs> but yeah, here's the real thing. Oh! 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 Wow! Look at Wow! Nyla. Oh, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> here, give me this. Give me this. Kiss man on we'll lips. Be right back. <laughs>